one of the glories of Lahore, the Shalimar Garden, the Queen and her husband were conducted by a party which included President Ayub. The famous garden, which lies outside the city, was laid out more than 300 years ago by the Emperor Shah Jahan. It occupies 40 acres and is irrigated by a canal, whose water originally had to be brought 100 miles. The Shalimar was designed by the Emperor for his recreation whenever he visited Lahore. In the fortress stadium of the Lahore cantonment was held Pakistan's national horse and cattle show. Here, the Queen and Duke were the guests of the President, Field Marshal Ayub Khan, and the Governor of West Pakistan. The show was on a big scale, lasting a week. As so often in this country, the President's bodyguard added to the spectacle. A lighter and very pleasant touch was provided by the child presenting the bouquet. The importance attached by horse and cattle breeders to Pakistan's national show was indicated by the large array of cups and other prizes. More interesting to Western eyes were the animals, some, though not all, native to the East. Pictures of the show and much else of the royal tour will provide home movies for the Queen's children. Whoever expected seeing those haughty looking creatures, the camels, doing a rock and roll? still pictures this time. Quite a family hobby. Also on the outskirts of Lahore, a city of nearly a million people, lies at the Bad Sahi Mosque, the tomb of the poet Iqbal, who inspired Jinnah to found Pakistan as an independent country. The mosque itself was built in 1673. To it come the devout from all over the country. It is one of the biggest in the East, perhaps the biggest. The faithful continued their reading of the Quran. As custom ordains, the queen and her party donned overshoes before entering. It is partly a symbolical custom for the imperfections of the outside world must not be allowed to contaminate the mosque. 